Hello and welcome to the Carter Mario Spotlight of the Month. I'm Carter Mario. In the next few minutes, we'll get you caught up in what's happening at the firm and in our communities across Connecticut. The Carter Cares Charity of the Month for May 2015 is the Connecticut Food Bank. Connecticut Food Bank was born from the concept of matching people in need with excess food in 1982. Very, very small operation. Today we distribute enough food to feed 300,000 hungry people across Connecticut. That's 17 million meals a year. One of the richest parts of my job is that I'm able to talk to the people we serve. One of every five children across the state are hungry. 25% of the people we serve are people with jobs people who are struggling just to stay above water. The Connecticut Food Bank supports over 700 partners across six counties. We help everybody and lots of folks say to me, I never thought I'd need that little extra support that my local food pantry gave me. And without the Connecticut Food Bank driving tons of food every day into the system across the state, that support wouldn't be there. And when we can go into a community and touch a veteran, to me, it makes me realize I have the best job in the world, helping people. Helping people is what Carter Mario Injury Lawyers is all about. I'm Loretha Tolson, an attorney here at Carter Mario. We are proud to announce that the Connecticut Food Bank is our Facebook charity of the month for the month of May. There are always people who are hungry, even right here in our very own state. They need our help, not just on holidays, but every day. So please join us in our efforts by giving food throughout the year. Let's give a special shout out to our staff who participated in the Cystic Fibrosis Walk at the West Haven Boardwalk. This walk had a special meaning for one of our staff who gathered the troops in support of her friend who suffers from this disease. The Carter Mario team got up early, got some great exercise walking on the beach, but most of all, helped support a worthy cause. On a legal note, clients are often concerned if their case goes to trial. Last month, we explained the first step of a trial, the jury selection. Hi, I'm Ryan Ballou and I'm a senior litigation attorney here at Carter Mario Injury Lawyers and I'm here to talk to you today about part two of our discussion about trials. Uh, opening statements are the opportunity for the lawyers on both sides to present an overview or a story about their case. What you have to remember about the opening statements is anything that the lawyers say uh, during the statement is not actually evidence. It's only an offer of proof and it's it, an anticipation of what the jury is actually going to hear once we reach the evidence stage. Opening statements can present an opportunity for the attorney to show how dangerous the actions of a defendant could have been. And I have a, a case coming up uh, for trial very shortly. I will be presenting in an opening statement the fact that a defendant not only injured our client very seriously, but the actions of that defendant could have injured several children who were on the side of the street at the time of the accident. And the opening statement allows you to present that uh, to the jury by, by telling the story of what happened. Okay, now I have to go work on my opening for my upcoming trial, and thanks for listening. The firm was also excited to host our 10th annual Carter Care Scholarship Banquet. We awarded 10 scholarships totaling $20,000 to graduating seniors across Connecticut. The winners were chosen based on their academic achievement, community service, and their responses on how to stop a serious problem happening on Connecticut highways, distracted driving. Hundreds of applications from high schools across Connecticut pour into our office each spring from students hoping to win one of our Carter Care scholarships. We spend weeks reading through them and it's never easy to pick just 10. This year, the 10 winners and their families joined us in our corporate office in Milford where each winner received their $2,000 scholarship check 
to help out with college expenses. They were also awarded an engraved plaque and an official citation from the Office of the Connecticut Attorney General in congratulations for their fight against distracted driving. A highlight of the banquet was when one of our winners performed her presentation at the event, a magic show. And guess what disappears? <laughs> sure everyone knows that I was just playing along and I was part of the act. Growing up in our house and in the office, when you are at an event or a meeting, no cell phones. The scholarship banquet is always a lot of fun, but the reason behind it is important. Distracted driving is becoming a critical issue in Connecticut and on highways everywhere. Our office deals with the aftermath of accidents caused by distracted drivers on a daily basis. Some are just minor accidents, but others are critical with often tragic results. Our long-term goal is to drastically reduce distracted and drunk driving related accidents in Connecticut. By encouraging the young people in our state to make better choices, we are helping the fight against distracted driving. Every accident caused by distracted driving is preventable. Like our scholarship winners will tell you, all it takes is to... Stop before you go! That's it for this edition of the Carter Mario Spotlight for the month of May. Thanks for joining us. Stay safe, and we'll see you soon.